Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're currently out at six in the morning. We're gonna go throw some bass lures and do the crab pots. Hopefully, we can get some big lobsters. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo. First part of the day. It's a big spring tide at the moment, so we've got a lot of tide pulling on. Okay. We can get lucky with some nice lobsters. We have spider crabs. And lots of them. Just loads and loads of little ones there. Baby spider crabs. No lobster in that one. Next spot's going to be coming up. The spider crabs are moving in now, so uh, we're expected to see a lot more spider crabs than usual. It's all good as long as we get a few Larrys as well. Oh, big brown crab. That's a nice brown crab, that. Look. That's definitely a keeper. Nice size brown crab, solid as well. You can tell by all the kill worms over it. First one in the bag, nice. It's not bad to get a nice brown crab in the first string. That's not a bad start at all, I'm quite happy with that. Come on, what's in the last pot? Lobster. Look at that little beast. <laughs> little tiny lobster. Nice to see though. But not the big one we're after. Alright, get this baited up, we're on to the next set. Come on, you lobsters. Next string. Hopefully this one's not stuck in the rocks. <laughs> this is a string of three, this one. Oh, that one there, big spider crab. Not monsters. But they're definitely getting bigger, look at that. Nice size spider. We've got a nice size brown crab. Got nothing to keep in that one. Next pot's on the way. Hopefully it's got 20 Larry's in it. <laughs> well, I'm enjoying myself this morning. Sun's just come up. Flat calm sea. Good night for more. Pulling some crab pots. Here it comes. Next pot's here. There's a lobster. Oh, there's two lobsters. One of those might be a keeper. Maybe. Let's check it. Back of the eyes. Oops. Back of the eyes socket. Just a bit under that one. About three mil under. Got another one there. That's definitely too small. We're on the right track for the lobsters though. Again. Spider crabs are certainly uh, pushing the lobsters away, that's for sure. Right, get this one baited up, move on to the next set. Come on, I think this is the inkwells, pretty sure. Ink 
well on a pole at this. Water crabs and brown crabs, and that one. That's not a bad brown crab at all. Yeah, it's a bit on the small side, that one. It's got nice claws, but the shell's quite small. Camo spider. <laughs> and there is all there is is a ray egg. <laughs> that there, that's a ray egg that hasn't been opened yet. Check that out. That's crazy. It's still full. I don't want to squeeze it around. I'm just going to put it back. That's interesting. Interesting to see a ray egg, that's for sure. But we didn't get that elusive larry. We're going to have to get these pots up, guys. And then give you a show because I'm right near a reef at the moment. So I don't want, the tide's going to push me right into it. So best to get these up, get myself out of it, and then we'll show you what's in them. First pot. Come on, we're in deeper water here. Oh, lobster. That's a nice one. Hopefully that's the keeper. I'll give you a show in a minute. Upstairs. Hopefully there's more to come. Definitely in the rocks. Next pot here. What have we got? Oh, another lobster. Gonna be close one of those lobsters. I think the other one, I'm pretty sure it's in. That's two lobsters, two pots. Come on. Hopefully the third one's got a mammoth. <laughs> and there is just a brown crab and a spider. Right, I'll get myself out of here and then uh, show you what we got. Is this lobster going to be legal? I think that one's going to be a bit small, that one. Yep, that one's just out by a couple of millimetres. Nice lobster though, very blue. Looks like it's a bit bigger, this lobster. go. Got our gauge, back of the eye socket. Oh, look at that. That is a millimetre out. That is so unlucky. Right, get these baited up. <laughs> On to the next ones. Ooh, just about caught that one. This is the last of the outside strings now, so uh, fingers crossed we can get a keeper Larry. We've got a, we've got a few more strings in We've got two more strings on the inside to do as well. Hopefully. So this outside reef's proven pretty good in the past, so we can get some more. Nice size spider crab. Bit of a manky old brown crab there. That's not a bad spider at all, that. I'm going to keep that one for now. Get this one baited up. Brown 
Pull those inside pots. What was deflated on that one? It's got water in it. Small stuff in that one. So I'll get this one empty and get the other one up. There's a lot of rocks in there. Little baby one arm lobster. <laughs> it's not a bad spider. One claw. Well, spider crabs are certainly making an appearance today. Another one there. Come on, you lobster. That's what you want to see. Nice juicy spider crab, but hold on to that one, not for sure. That's a beauty, that one. Nice. got him out he was tangled in a bit there that's a lovely spider that so what I'm gonna do is uh we're gonna cook up a load of spider crabs and the brown crab and we're gonna uh, pick a load of crab make a nice dish out of it that's not a bad one either not a monster we'll throw that one back save him for another day Alright. 
lovely to see the spiders we're in. That means we're going to have a healthy feed of spiders. <laughs> right, I'll get these baited up. I'll go bass fishing for a little bit long. I'm going to go bass fishing for a little bit longer, guys, and just see what we get. So here we go, guys. It's today's catch. We've got three lovely spider crabs and a nice sized brown crab. That's not bad going at all, that. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to take these home now and then we we'll cook them all up. We are back in the kitchen and we've got some picking to do. We've got three nice spiders and one decent brown crab. So I'm going to start picking this now. Lovely sized crabs. There's going to be plenty of meat in these. I love to see brown crab with keel worms on. That means that the crab is completely packed with meat. It hasn't shed its shell in a long time. Delicious. Racking up a little bit of crab here. Look at that. That is a hefty bowl of crab. And we've got all of the spider crab claws to go. I've eaten probably three handfuls to be honest. But uh, we've still got a healthy amount there to make whatever we're going to do with this. Happy days. I still haven't decided what to do with this yet. I might even make a big old crab sandwich. I'm not even sure. Let's get these cracked. There's plenty of meat inside these. All of the crabs have been absolutely packed with meat, coming out in big chunks like that. That's what you want to see. And make a good old toasted crab sandwich. I've got the George Foreman out. Just want something nice and simple. We've got plenty of crab. And what I'm going to do is butter this with some Guernsey butter. We'll get some crab in it and get it toasted up, baby. Good old dollop of Guernsey butter. What I'm going to do with my butter is I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of salt in there as well. We got a surprising amount of crab out of this. There's a, there's a hefty amount and I've eaten quite a bit as well. Even my son's had a bit and my dog. <laughs> there's plenty, plenty to go around. Get that all mixed up. Beautiful. And just get it spread on our bread. Guernsey butter is really hard to spread if it's fresh out of the fridge. So it's always best to warm it up a bit. Beautiful. This is going to be a juicy sandwich, that's for sure. Something nice and quick before I head back out. Can't go wrong with that. So we've got our buttered bread there. Just got to grab a big old handful of crab. And that right there is a delicious little snack. Beautiful. What we do now is get that on the George Foreman and we're ready to go. Oh yeah. Check that out. A beautifully toasted sandwich right there. Plenty of crab in it, 
nicely toasted. That's what you want, baby. Perfect little midday snack. Fresh crab, spider crab's got a really sweet taste to it as well. I love it when they come in. Oh, that Guernsey butter makes all the difference. Mm. It's been surprising. The last two trips in a row now, I haven't had a keeper lobster. It's funny how when the spider crabs come in, the lobsters tend to back off a little bit, but they'll be back soon enough. But for the meantime, we're just gonna mess around with the crabs. I love going crab wheeling as well. I'm gonna be doing a lot of daytime trips off the cliffs and down the lighthouses and stuff like that. So yeah, lots to come. It's so light spider crab. Such a light sort of meat, very flaky. Can't go wrong, but if you get a spider crab, guys, try and get a big male, because that's where the real meat is. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So I won't leave you any longer, guys. I'm going to absolutely demolish this and probably make another one after. I've got enough for about five sandwiches. So if you want any merch, the link's in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the like button as well. Uh, there'll be plenty more to come. Hopefully, we get some giant five pounders. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo!